Now, after all that's out of the way, let's make a real big funny ball welcome for the first comedian. Come to you all the way from St. Louis, Missouri, the touring club and colleges all over. Make some noise for Craig Hawkins! Good evening. <laughs> Just bet you that. I also thought the mall was great. I went to the big and tall men's store. Saw a pair of pants size 60, 28. <laughs> you're getting a mental picture of what I just said, aren't you? If you're 60, 28, that means when you're laying down, you're taller than when you're standing up. <laughs> Funny, and then everybody says they exercise. I got a really good buddy who drinks beer every single night. And if you say anything to him about it, he'll go, yes. But every morning I walk for two hours. Yes, but you're looking for your car. <laughs> love longer because I know my wife and I have a little pet. She tells me I'm getting fat, I lose weight. I tell her she's getting fat, I lose consciousness. <laughs> I love to watch those infomercials too for the exercise equipment. Yeah, they just make up anything. They got a new one, I don't even know the name of it, it's a, it's a little swivel stool. And it's on, and it's on four legs, and you sit on it, and and, and you swivel. Yeah, whee! and it's supposed to melt off all that ugly fat from your waist and thighs. And the place I go to four nights a week has eight of them. It's a tavern. <laughs> and you know that's one of the things she makes sure I eat right because you can't go on any of those fat diets. You know the diets I'm talking about? You eat something, it's a supplement. They had this one called the Fat Whacker. I think they advertised it on Jay's radio station, too. The Fat Whacker. And their little slogan was, want to get that fat off? Whack it off. But if that were true, I'd weigh about 90 pounds. And they save the best one for last, the prostate exam. You know, that's where you lean over the table, you drop your pants, and they go in there with a rubber glove. Which is bad enough, but then the guy says to me, now sir, this may cause an erection. <laughs> and I'm thinking, in me or you? <laughs> And since I didn't get one, <laughs> I think our, one of our problems is in our country is that we care about our dogs more than we care about each other. You think I'm wrong? I, 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 I just, you know, I mean, dogs are, are fine, but I was at this woman's house recently, you know, and I opened the door, she opens the door, and her dog, this big dog jumps up and he just starts licking my face and he's sniffing me down here and he's sticking his nose up there. And instead of stopping him, she goes, oh, he can smell your dog. <laughs> and it's like, I don't have a dog. <laughs> These people are insane. These dog people, they find out you have kids, and they've heard them say things like, oh, well, our dogs are our children. <laughs> Well, don't look now, but your daughter's drinking out of the toilet. <laughs> There's three people in my neighborhood that got these crossbred dogs. Maybe you heard of them. They crossed a Labrador with a poodle. You heard of that? A Labradoodle. Some other people, my next door neighbor's got a beagle pug. It's called, it's called a puggle. And then another guy's got a Great Dane and a Schnauzer. It's called a big-ass schnauzer. <laughs> I wish 
they would do? I wish they would cross like a, a retriever with a police dog. You know, then I'd have somebody that I could send out for donuts. Here's a tip. Look for hand-painted signs. That's the giveaway. Because if a town's got hand-painted signs, you're going to get exactly what the sign said you're going to get. You're going to get vine right to dance. You know, and you're going to get homemade jam. You know, and you're going to get shot for trespassing. <laughs> These are malls with hundreds of stores that sell nothing but factory seconds. Mistakes. Things like a pair of pants with a collar. <laughs> My wife brought home a real nice brand stepfather clock. Beautiful piece of furniture. I'm not making this up. In Branson, Missouri, they have a Bible factory outlet store. We're talking the good book with typos. Yeah, you might be getting a copy of the Word of Gob. Right now there's some cut rate missionary going, all right kids, let's open up to the chapter on Adam and Steve now, shall we? But you know what's stupid is that Americans hate pantomime. We hate mimes. You see some mime on a corner, you'll see a bunch of Americans get together and go, you know, the mimes out there going. And the Americans are going, as soon as he comes out of that box, we're kicking his ass. <laughs> Thank you, folks. That's my set to start us off. Hit your auto!